We're going to jump right into the newlyweds game. The first question is, what is Brett's walk-up song? It's a tough one, I admit it. But when was the first World Series that the Cubs won? Dig into these funnel cake fries. You got to make sure you get everything I on know. Though. Wow, you guys are pretty far off. Oh. Pretty far off. Our picks for <laughs> who's going to win 4A Division One, And I was, you know, texting Evan before this, and I was like, I don't know who to pick, truthfully. <laughs> but I made my pick. So we're choosing between Canyon, Dumas, Pampa, and Hereford. And I'm just going to quick make my pick first before you guys steal it from me or think <laughs> that I stole it from you. So I'm going with the Pampa Harvesters. I feel like they're a little underrated here, even though they're 7 and 0, but it's, I wish we were having this conversation in another week or two after we could see Pampa and Canyon and just kind of these four teams take on each other because they've kind of had the same schedule up to this point. But that's why I'm also choosing Pampa because they've got that 7-0 record. They've got an additional game under their belt and all wins. So they look good to me. But Evan, who do you pick? Okay, guys, I'm definitely just going to enjoy these for the rest of the night. Enjoy them. <laughs> Let's keep talking about teams around the panhandle. Which team? Do you guys think is going to make it all the way to the state championships? I'm going Dumas because when's the last time they even lost, Evan? <laughs> I'm going Amarillo, especially after hearing from Coach Dunham yesterday. He knows this is a challenge. Their team knows that this is a challenge, but they're ready to rise to the occasion. And he even talked about this game that down the line, this could be a game that they look back on that got them to the playoffs. Facing teams this tough early on is going to pay off for them, and I think winning against a team this tough is going to pay off for them. So I am also going with Amarillo. And I went to Dickie's Barbecue, which is right over here in left field, and I got the Mac Sack. So it's mac and cheese, brisket, all the good, good, good stuff. Got a pickled jalapeno, got some pickles. I've eaten a lot of it already. Don't judge me, but we're going to take a quick bite. Go on. Mm. And I agree with you, Lance. Spencer Williams, that's the name that keeps popping up every week. So he'd probably be my pick at this point. And speaking of picks, we're going to get right into our pick -ums And we'll kind of give you guys an update where we're at. Evan's not happy about this, I'm sure. Kind of in last place right now. Not by much, though. It's okay. There's still some time. But Evan's 6-3. and three. Hey, I'm 7-2. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm 7-2. and two, And Lance is just leading the pack at 8-1. and one. So let's get into this week. <laughs> everything you want and more and I went to Dickie's barbecue which is right over here in left field and I got the mac stack so it's mac and cheese brisket all the good 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 stuff got a pickled jalapeno got some pickles I've eaten a lot of it already don't judge me but we're gonna take a quick bite mm. Hello, today I am on the club level and I'm having this grilled chicken wrap. So this is one of, Matt was just saying, here's Matt, hello, was just telling me this is one of the healthier ballpark options. So it's a grilled chicken wrap with lettuce, tomatoes, ranch dressing, shredded cheddar cheese, and a warm tortilla with kettle chips. So I'm going to give this a try shortly. So you can head to my Facebook because we'll be starting the Facebook live in a couple of minutes. championship game will be on Saturday. If we win tonight's game or win tomorrow's game, if we have one, this is what you need to get. What's up, everyone? Welcome to The Breakdown, where we break down everything you need to know about high school football across the panhandle before we wrap it up on the wrap-up on Friday nights at 11.05. I'm Claudia Faust, joined by Evan Abramson and Lance Lawner. We have an exciting show ahead, but we also just got some breaking news, so we're going to start off with that. We just found out that Highland Park has canceled their game against Spearman due to COVID complications on their team. 